Welcome to another edition of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and AT&T UVerse 99. I'm Loyola Masters. We know the football team has had success as a whole this year, but there have also been several individuals who've gained recognition. Reporter Astina Corin has a story. Hi, I was seeing a corner point for Wildcat TV. Now, I know the gym doesn't seem like there's much going on right now, but just last week it was full of excitement. Here's a look at the 2012 Simone Awards. The Simone Awards were held here at Blue Springs High School on Tuesday, December 4th. Out of all of the high school football players in the Kansas City metro area, Blue Springs had three students nominated for awards. Junior Darius Shepard was nominated for the Otis Taylor Award. Junior Elijah Lee received the Buck Buchanan Award, and Junior Dalvin Warmack won the Simone Award. Our fellow Coach Donahoe also received the Award of Coach of the Year. I caught up with Anthony Simone before the ceremony to tell us a little bit about the Simone Award. This is the 30th year of the award, um, and it is, it's gone on for longer than that, but it's been the Thomas A. Simone Award for 30 years, and it was the Niagara Award before that. Um, but it has been going on for 30 years. Uh, the award goes to the most outstanding player uh, in the Kansas City metro area, um, and we have a whole bunch of other awards that go with it, but the main award is the Thomas A. Simone Award, which goes to the best player in Kansas City. What you ask yourself, do I have what it takes to be great? Do I have what it takes to be a champion? Do I carry the three words, <coughs> virtues, love, friendship, courage, with me and my being? If you do, no matter what, whether you win or whether you lose, whether you succeed or whether you fail, you will be destined for greatness. You will be a champion. I also caught up with Simone Award winner Dalvin Warmack to ask what this award means to him. It means a lot to me considering the fact that uh, I've known the Simone family since seventh grade, so it was really special and hit home to me. Were you surprised about winning this award? Uh, yes, I was considering the fact uh, I'm the second junior to win it. Usually it's a senior thing, so yeah. Congratulations to all of the winners. We're all very proud of you. I'm Asina, signing off for Wildcat TV. The football players aren't the only athletes getting recognitions at our school. Several volleyball players received postseason honors. MoCan All-Star Game participants, Courtney Thompson, Bree Starr, Holly Tarvin. All-Conference First Team, Courtney Thompson, Bree Starr, Holly Tarvin. All-Conference Second Team, Erin Bodenstab. All-Conference Honorable Mention, Alicia Starr. All-District, Courtney Thompson, Bree Starr, Holly Tarvin, Erin Bodenstab, Marissa Buttram. All-Region First Team, Holly Tarvin. All-Region Second Team, Courtney Thompson. All Region Honorable Mention, Free Star. All State Second Team, Holly Tarman. All State Honorable Mention, Free Star. Congratulations again to all the players who received honors. Several students have also received recognition not for their athletics, but for their words. And this recognition comes from the top office in our nation. Reporter Deja Montgomery has a story. As we all know, the president is very busy. So when some students here at Blue Springs High School got back letters from him, we were very surprised. Uh, three of my uh, English three classes wrote um, a letter to President Obama. Tell me about the assignment. Uh, the assignment, we were uh, studying early American literature, and the students were reading about um, pilgrims and Native Americans. Uh, and then from there, we kind of branched into um, this whole talk about refugees. And students had such strong opinions that I decided to uh, have them write a letter to the president um, telling the president whether they agreed with our current policies um, on refugees or if they thought that we should reform those policies. Have you been giving this assignment out for long? No, this is, this is the, I'm excited. This is the first year that I've given this assignment. Uh, and I think the students really enjoyed it. I think they really enjoyed it. Uh, it took a while. It took about a month. Uh, and then they kind of started trickling in. Um, overall, though, I think I've had about 25 to 30 students who've gotten responses from President Obama. Did you read any of the letters before they were mailed? Yes, I, uh, I carefully read each letter um, before we sent them to the president, but I was sure to just correct uh, grammatical things. I didn't change any content. I let the students uh, have their voice, uh, even if they agreed or disagreed, either one as long as they supported it, I, I let it go. The, I, I got this envelope in the mail, and it said it was from the White House, and, and I was happy, and I was shocked. Just by the president taking out time to write down just a few words for us, it gave students a special reason 
to love our country. That is definitely something special, as I'm sure a letter from the president is something those students will never forget. After a quick commercial break, we'll be back with a story about an upcoming career fair, as well as your announcements for the week. That and more when Wildcat TV returns. Welcome back. We know February seems like a long way off, but there's an important event happening then that we want to preview so that you can mark it on your calendar. Reporter Sarah Van Hale has a story. Have you ever thought what you want to do after high school or college? Well, on February 26th, Blue Springs High School will be holding a career fair here in the Commons. At the career fair, you can explore new opportunities, make connections, or find your next dream job. The Blue Springs Community Business Showcase will provide resources on internships and training on how to further your career. Once again, the career fair is on February 26th in the Commons from 6 to 9 p.m. This is Sarah Van Hale reporting for Wildcat TV. We will have more in-depth coverage of the career fair at the beginning of next semester, but remember to mark your calendar now so you won't miss out on the event. We now go to Raven Lawrence outside the Wildcat room for the presentation of the state football trophy. Raven? Thanks, Laura. This is Raven Lawrence outside the Wildcat room with a few members of the football team as they present the state trophy. On behalf of the Blue Springs football team, I want to present Principal Adams with the first place trophy, and thank you for all your support. Thank you, Carson. Coach Wheeler and I are proud to, uh, to uh, accept this trophy on behalf of Coach Donahoe and the football team, the seniors that are here today. We're extremely proud of the football team and their accomplishments and, and all of the pride and, and enthusiasm that they brought to the school and the community this year. It was a great season. Congratulations for representing yourselves and your school in a great way. And winning was pretty cool, too. So congratulations and thank you very much. So, Carson, what does this win mean to you? Well, it means uh, it was really big and really... Uh, Great way to finish off the season because we'd all worked so hard for this for so long. We had a goal of, at the beginning of the season to win a state championship, and everybody, I believe, worked their hardest to accomplish that goal, and that's obviously what we got done. So it was a, it was a great way to end the season. And Dante, you all had a lot of you know hard practices and whatnot. So what is the most memorable thing that you'll remember for the rest of your life? Um, the most memorable thing for me would probably have to be the practices in the summer. You know, that's what built the team bond, and that's when everyone really believed that we could go all the way. And that's one thing that I'll probably remember the most. Dono. Yes, ma'am. Come on up here. Right. So, Dono, this is your third state champ. Mm -hmm. And so what, is, what does this mean to you exactly? What? Well, they're all they're all different, but they're all very special. And this this year was uh, extremely special because it'd been nine years, and you know when you get around a group of guys like this, that they're they're so much fun to be around. And there was never one day we felt like we had a bad practice. And uh, we're going to miss these guys a lot. They they they're great leaders. They do well in the classroom. Uh, I hope that they've represented the school the way that they should, and um, and I'm sure they have. Uh, but we're just extremely proud of all the effort they put in. And, and, you know, this is something they'll never forget for the rest of their lives. And, you know, um, this is going to be a hard class to replace. But uh, we'll find a way. And, uh, but anyway, exceptionally proud of them. Thank you. Great job, fellas. This is Raven Lawrence reporting for Alcat TV. Back to you, Laura. Thanks, Raven. It's always nice to add more trophies to our collection. We now go to Weston Mooneyham in the newsroom for some announcements. Thanks, Laura. We only have a few announcements for the week. This Tuesday, come out and support the boys' basketball team as they take on Lee Summit West at home. The sophomore game starts at 4 p.m. with the JV and varsity following. 
The boys also have a home game on Friday versus Raytown, so make sure to get out and support them as they have two home game opportunities this week. All girls planning to run track in the spring and not involved in a winter sport need to come to a meeting during Wildcat Hour A on Wednesday, December 12th. There they will discuss the schedule, preseason workouts, and what needs to be done before the season begins. Wrestling has a big tournament this Friday and Saturday at Hale Auditorium in Kansas City. There will be 40 teams from around the country with seven of the teams being nationally ranked including Blue Springs which is currently ranked 17th, so get out and support the Cats. Lunar Bowl has a special New Year's Eve party event going on. The party package goes from 10.30 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. Three hours of bowling will be $100 per lane. They will also have a family package offer earlier in the evening, starting from 5 and going until 7 p.m. Six bowlers per lane, two hours of bowling, and $70 per lane, and this will be a non-smoking session. There will also be a pre-party package option, starting at 7.30 p.m. and going till 10 p.m. There will be six bowlers per lane, there will be two and a half hours of bowling, and it will be $90 per lane. There will be over $1,000 in prizes, so make sure to get out there this New Year's Eve and have a great time at Lunar Bowl. Mark your calendars for next week as the choir will have their Christmas concert on Tuesday the 18th at 7 p.m. in the PAC. The last song of the concert is the, their tradition of having alumni and faculty join the current a cappella choir and concert choir in a sing-along of the Hallelujah Chorus. They usually have around 200 people on the stage and it's an impressive event. There will also be an orchestra concert this Thursday, December 13th at 7 p.m. For our next announcement, I took an in-depth look for our winter pep assembly. Hi, I'm Weston Mooneyham, and this Friday we'll be having our annual winter sports pep assembly. Today I'm here to inform you on some of its details. I caught up with junior Darian Buford to get some more information on this assembly. It's been a couple of days. We uh, have some good ideas. We have a surprise that you guys will enjoy. It's uh, kind of an appreciation thing. You'll see that we have an eating contest and some Christmas based things that's going on. So it's just going to take up the first half of Wildcat Hour. With a lot of hard work and planning, the Senate Planning Committee was able to come up with what sounds like a great event. I caught up with senior Liz Korn to get some further information. What was the preparation like for the assembly? It's pretty easy because all of our games and activities have to do with holiday, so all we have to do is kind of look at the past and figure out what worked and what didn't and then make some new games and performances for you guys to see. What should we plan on seeing? There is one surprise performance that I cannot tell you about, but you will see in the Elf the movie, there's a thing where he eats spaghetti that's like syrupy and stuff, and we're going to have an eating contest with that. Um, then we'll have the band do their flash mob, possibly, and then it's, it's going to be a lot of fun, and you guys should come see it. Make plans to attend this fun and exciting event so you don't miss the big surprise. This is our last announcement. The cheerleaders are competing at Staley High School next Sunday, December 16th from 2.30 to 5. This is the national qualifying event for the co-ed cheerleaders. Back to you, Laura. That wraps it up for another edition of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and at and UVerse 99. You can always view our latest episode at wildcattvnews.com. Next week we'll have our Christmas episode with several unique stories. Have a great week and remember, it's a great day to be a Wildcat.